everyone, it's Graham Coleman with Daily Extra, and I'm here at the 519 in Toronto where the Sunset Service is holding an event in recognition of Black History Month and All Black Lives Matter. So, can you tell us about the event tonight at the 519? Uh, what Love Looks Like in Public, a revival, was um, something that we came up with in terms of uh, a focus for this particular service, because we hold services every quarter um, around Black Lives Matter. We thought that Black History Month was a good time to sort of remember the importance of this movement that's been happening over the last number of months. Looking at the intersection of faith and race and identity and uh, social justice. Sunset Service Toronto Fellowship is an inclusive interspiritual ministry for all people focused on three areas, social action, the arts and community building from a new thought perspective, which is the tradition that we draw from. So the Sunset Service isn't just for the black community. It honors diversity within ethnicity, um, gender, sexuality, faith. Why is it important to have that sort of mosaic? We live in Toronto, and already Toronto is a mosaic of cultures and identities and communities. And so it would be sort of against our best interest to divide ourselves. Do you guys ever get any criticism from more traditional religious people? We've heard questions about, well, what is it that you exactly are believing or teaching. Because we draw from so many different traditions, as New Thought uh, practitioners, we have a core set of values and ideas. We draw on a number of traditions. You saw First Nations um, represented here, Islam, Judaism, Christianity, New Thought. Um, we try to reflect that in all of our uh, services. A lot of people are considering Black History Month, Black Future Month now. What do you think about this, and do you guys support that? We just actually were part of a <laughs> event called Black Future Month 3015, which was amazing. Which was essentially coined by Danilo McCallum. Um, he was the one who kind of brought it into being in the city in Toronto. I was sitting here thinking the entire time how important it is for us to acknowledge our ancestors in this moment, in this month of black love particularly our queer or trans ancestors who we didn't march for. It's crucial to look at what came before us, to look at the ancestors, to honor that legacy, but we also have to start to create a future for us. And that's part of what Sunset Service is about. It's about creating a new visioning of what black spirituality, what collective spirituality, what, what this could look like. I was born a fat, black, asthmetic gay nerd in the projects of Southwest DC. <laughs> Few things happened in this story that will make you realize that it took some boldness to live out loud. For myself and I think for each one of us having been excluded from spaces that we wanted to have a space that welcomed everyone um, and we do that by including different elements from different communities, different faith communities, different spiritual communities, different artists, different types of music because I, I know what it's like to be on those edges, right? And we want to bring everybody in and, and connect on that one element. It's all about oneness. It doesn't matter if you, you know, if you're trans, gay, black, white, it doesn't matter. We should all be able to share the same space. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.